Seriously, video games are educational. Yeah, right. Uh, could that be true? Well, the answer is yes, and the proof is a system at the Jordan Center in Chicago that teaches young people to fly. Oh, here we go, here we go. Now let's pull back. You're inside the James Jordan Boys and Girls Club <laughs> flying with a group called Sky Kids. I want you to turn right and use a 10 degree bank angle. The young ones are learning to fly. Seriously. They're going to learn to fly in a Cessna plane to learn the basics of flight, how wing works, how wind works, how uh, weather affects the flight. You can see there, there's your altitude, so that's how high you are. They start with the Cessnas and can graduate to jets. That's just the start. Our simulators are tied together. They're all linked and networked together so they can fly formation flying. We can fly competitive. How cool is that? I think it's totally cool speaking that I want to be an air pilot someday. But this goes beyond the art of flying. For instance, they fly themselves over New York, which you can't do in a real plane, but they can do in our planes. And because of that, they can see the Statue of Liberty. They want to know why is it green? How did it get there? Who, you know, who gave it to us? Uh, they can go to the Grand Canyon and the first question is how deep is it? You know, how did it get there? And therefore we get geology and geography questions out of it. It's going so well that Dick Joyce has plans to start Sky Kids at Marshall High School. The students graduate after six weeks and move on to the next level of flying if they want. So it becomes a whole new intramural activity that we can take to schools, boys and girls clubs like the Jordan Center uh, or other boys and girls clubs around the country. The young people do well enough, in fact, if they can do well enough, they can earn an actual flight lesson. Oh yeah, the cost for this? Zero. Yeah. That's great. Okay.